This is one I wrote not too long ago. It's still a bit of a work in progress. I've been working through Greek mythology and this sort of came together as I was working through the different stories of the Oceanids. Some names you know, many you forgot, and more you will never learn. The daughters of the ocean and Tethys flowed far and wide through the open waters and the hidden waters underground to become the keepers of places where water is life. Wives and consorts of river gods and heroes and kings, sisters and their children are companions of Artemis, Persephone, and the queen of Cyrene. They are the helpmates and springing to aid heroic quests and obstacles of epic voyages. Dip into the wells of mystic stories and you will find their chorus rippling through the ages. The innumerable daughters of oceans are the first mothers of settled peoples far and wide, of monsters and protagonists. They are the mothers of invention, of Prometheus and other clever creatures of our, creators of our technology. The nursemaids of Poseidon and Zeus, their eldest sister was the first to aid Zeus in his break from the Titans. And for that she was rewarded. Even the gods must abide by the oaths of Styx waters. Of storied sisters and wives of all the rivers of the world, of the Nile, the Tigris, the Euphrates, of Jalum, and the Ganges, and the rivers that bring amber from the far north. Poseidon's queen, Amphitrite, the third one who encircles the seas, the mother of Triton, presides over the bountiful sister Doris's daughters and son Nerides, the charioteer. Dione, the equal of Zeus, is counted among the elder sisters, as is Metis, mm -hmm. wisdom the early wife of Zeus and mother of Athena, and Electra, the mother messenger of rainbows and storm winds. The daughters of the seas were queens from Africa and Asia and Europe. <laughs> they are the arbiters of disputes between the fire and earth, between the sky and the ether, the protectors of flocks and youths. They are the aunties who helped Jason, but did not intervene when Medea reads her terrible revenge. They are the untamed, rollicking through the meadows and mountains, the clouds, and send their children to the stars. Among them sits the wallflower, who stays put, watching time pass, as Helios journeys across the sky, where water is life, flowing underground. <laughs> 